sadly this courgette is too too moldy it's in the corner with mold it's in a dark shady place not the conditions for a courgette we live and we learn so we got two big courgettes so we're gonna pull up the whole plants so it wasn't for nothing we still got some lovely courgette and probably eat that flower and then yeah we have taken some olive um, leaf clippings and hopefully these will grow into new trees so i'm always going to show you the process and uh, we pull off all the bottom leaves of a new shoot from the olive tree and you want two sections where the leaves grow up grow pull them off and cut below that at an angle and you want to put that much in the soil and cut the leaves off because you want to put all the energy into growing roots we've got some rooting activator so we put some compost in a pot and then you're going to sprinkle about two teaspoons of Tablespoons. Two tablespoons of rooting activator on top. Gonna stick the cutting into the soil and pray that that works. <laughs> and there you have it. Hopefully, we'll have six new olive trees to take with us wherever we get our land. So, as you can see, these absolutely beautiful lilies have all come up now. I'm so shocked because one day they weren't there and then all of a sudden we just saw all of these stalks the dark purple stalk the pink lily and these lilies come up with multiple heads as you can see and all of these are gonna be flowers this one's a bit more bushy and then we have our beans running up here on the other side you can see the cucumber plant it's gone all the way to the top it's just a magnificent cucumber plant and then in between they've got a different type of lily it's just lovely and grassy and then when the flowers come up it just gives it another dynamic and then this is a rose bush but it's not flowering so yeah you know you can do a lot with like a wild garden just plant different herbs you can eat it and then when you don't want to eat it it flowers it produces more and i think it just looks really nice like a bit of a meadow kind of look as you can see this is how they look when they first start coming out of the ground and it's just crazy how they grow and then it'll just keep going up and up and up and then you'll finally get a really pretty red flower. Okay, I'm just going to do a garden update. As you can see by all the leaves dying, it is coming up to autumn, we're in September. This tiny pepper it didn't grow much, so I just got one pepper from it. So I'm just going to pick that off. So we've got the pepper for that one. I'm just going to let it ripen before the slugs get it. So I'll wait a bit before I pick them. So I don't know what happened with these, but we didn't get many. You can see it there. I think I'll leave that another week before I pick that. And you can see the last of the peas. I forgot to do an update on the harvesting of the peas. Um, sorry about that. But anyway, I left a few on the pod to um, come to full ripe. So I'll use those for seeds um, next year. So the peas 
are just about finished. I did leave a few on here, but as you can see, the slugs got them all. <laughs> so what I'll be doing, I'll be clearing up the garden, tidying it up a bit, and taking the last remaining peas out. And I'll just show you in the actual garden. Oh yeah, that's my custard apple tree. That's growing quite nicely. I've put all my trees in a pot because I've only got a small garden, just a small patio area. I'll just show you through to the patio area. Oh, before I do that, I kind of experimented with um, taking some cuttings from an olive tree and planting them. The roots are actually growing, although they look pretty dead on top, the roots are actually sprouting and growing. So I shall keep you updated on that. And I also took a few cuttings from um, a geranium and that rooted and planted, so that's growing up nicely. I also, this was one um, aloe vera and what I did, it had a few little shoots coming off, which I separated into these pots. And they've grown up quite nicely. So from the one plant, I had these three and also um, these three. And I bought another aloe vera plant, which was this one. And from that one, um, I split it off into that one, that one, and um, I'll just show you the others that I have out here. So we also had these three and these four. These all came from the other aloe vera plant. So what I'll do is just keep separating them as they grow to make more plants. Here we've got the herb section. So we've got some nice herbs there. Um, they've come up quite well. Also we've got the pineapple that we grew from a natural pineapple. We took the top off and it rooted and so that's growing quite well. I'll keep you updated on that. I've got the peppers here that I've not harvested yet. So I'm going to leave that a couple, few more days just to, oh, so that you can see it. Just to let that ripen up. Okay, the cucumbers are all finished. So I'm going to pull up the rest of the cucumber now. I've just got a couple um, on there which I'm going to harvest. I'm leaving that one because I want to leave that one for seed. So I'm just going to leave that one to go to seed and then I'll harvest those in the next couple of days and get those eaten. The carrots have really sprung up very well. Looking forward to harvesting those too. And the peach tree has sprung up and that's growing also. So I've harvested all the lettuce that were down here. I just need to weed that. I left these to grow to seed. So I'll have seeds for next year. I'll just move this out of the way so you can see this one how it bolts and there's the seeds on top which I am going to use for next year's crop. I've got a few beetroot left to harvest that should take me through to the next month or so and here is the melon which we struggled with and it seems to be doing well. We've got one melon on there that's grown up quite nicely so here we've got the sweet potato bed and that's looking good. It's um, growing up. I put another one in there that's sprouting up as well. So what we'll do, we'll take the shoots off these for next year 
and plant them and then we should get sweet potatoes from those shoots uh, oh yeah that's another geranium that I um, took a cutting off and I think the slugs have got to it a little bit and we've got the cabbage which were being attacked by whitefly and caterpillars and all sorts of bugs but still we've managed to get quite big cabbages I mean that one's not ready yet or oh, that one this one the slugs have just devoured it so I should harvest one um, this week for dinner over here we've got the pomegranate tree and we've got the lemon tree that's doing okay and I've got some more herbs there some thyme oh yes and these are the rosemary they're growing up quite nicely as well oh yes that's the avocado tree as well that's doing okay I forgot to add that um, this is some mustard seeds that we planted for we bought some seasonings you know what you get from the shop and just experimented just to see if they would grow and we just planted a few and here they are sprouting up and doing quite well oh and one more thing I also planted a piece of ginger and that's growing up. So most of the plants that we have used have been from the kitchen, you know, like the bits of ginger and the pineapple tops and things like that. The mustard seeds that we've just experimented with just to see if it would grow and that is growing quite nicely. And also, we also, um, the dates that we ate, we just took a couple of the seeds and we planted them and they've grown up quite nicely as well. So it just goes to show you that you don't have to buy everything from packets and things. If once you get started, you can utilise um, things that you've already got planted, whether that's through cuttings or taking the seeds and things like that. Oh, these are a few tomato seeds that we just um, sort of threw in a pot. I know it's very late in the season, but we're just seeing, we might not get no fruit, but we're just seeing what will happen. Because it doesn't get that cold here, so it may survive the winter. And hopefully uh, next spring we might get some tomatoes. Okay, I've just um, planted, I forgot to film it. But I've just planted in here um, a couple of tomato slips. It's a bit of an experiment really because it is very late in the season really. But I don't know. And, um, yeah, they don't look very healthy, but anyway, I've planted um, some tomatoes in October, but <laughs> a bit late, but the weather's so good here, so we'll see what happens. don't think we'll get tomatoes because they're going to be growing over the winter, but um, we'll just see. And they probably won't get enough light as the days get shorter. But we'll see. Hopefully they might survive until spring and then we'll get tomatoes next year. So I've got a couple um, in here. Now I've got three here that I'm going to plant when they get a bit bigger in that grow bag outside. And I think I'll leave it until probably November um, and see what happens.